In this video, I will show you how to create the pen tool paths using the anchor point guides as well as without the anchor point guides. In the next video, I will show you how to create shapes using the pen tool. First of all, we need to make sure we're in Illustrator. So it's the orange uh, icon right here. You're going to go to File Open and you'll be able to open the Pen Tool Practice file in there. So we're working with the anchor points first. And these, if I zoom in, are anchor points, these little uh, squares. And this is gonna help guide you in creating your line or your path with the shape tool. Over here we have our toolbar. If for some reason you're not seeing the right tools, um, you can go up here and go to toolbars and then click advanced or basic. Um, you can also select controls. That's never a bad thing to have as well. And we are just going to use the regular pen tool. So make sure you don't have the curvature pen tool, the regular pen tool right here. Over here in our properties, which again, if you don't see it, you can go to window properties you are going to find your fill and your stroke. We are going to set our stroke, let's do three points for now, and then you can set your stroke to whatever color, just maybe avoid the color red because we are going to be um, going over a red line. So I've zoomed in here. If you need to zoom in and out, you can actually do that by doing control and then plus or minus on the keyboard. You can also zo zoom in and out um, down here and then zooming in with the uh, zoom tool is also an option. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's grab the pen tool. And this one is pretty much the easiest one we have. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a click and then a click and a click. And I'm going to increase that stroke so you can see it a little better. We'll bring that up. There we go. And you can see how I am just going right over that line. And by clicking on the anchor points, I'm able to trace that path. Now to end the path, if I, because I don't want to continue, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard and then that should clear out of that path. Now I can continue on. So same thing with the next one. I'm going to go ahead and click, click, click. And you're literally just clicking along these points. When you're creating straight lines with the pen tool, all you have to do is click. You don't click and hold or drag or anything. You're just clicking on those points. Once again, hit enter on the keyboard and that completes the path. This one's going to be a little bit different. So sometimes it's hard to do perfectly straight lines and sometimes Illustrator will help you out a little bit. If you need to, you can hold down shift on the keyboard and then click and then you know it's a perfectly straight line and that works for both vertical and horizontal. So if I go ahead and you can even see it when I don't click shift, that's when I don't click shift and then when I do click shift, that's what it looks like. So it kind of gives you, I'll try that again, like that, straight up and down. If I'm off to the side, a little bit off and then I hit shift, it's going to create a straight line. So if you'd like to, feel free to hold shift while you are clicking. So go ahead and just keep holding shift while you click on those anchor points. And that'll ensure that you have nice straight lines like the example. And they just follow the X and Y axis. axis. And there we are. I let go of shift, hit enter on the keyboard, and that completes the shape. All right, here we come to one that's a little more difficult. This is where we're working with curves. So whenever you're doing a curve, the first point is always just going to be a click. But the next point is going to be a, uh, we're going to click and hold. So I'm going to click on that anchor point. I'm going to click and hold, and you'll see it's going to give me these little handles, and it's going to give me a little preview, that blue preview line. And I'm trying to create a curve that's as close to that line as I can, right about there. Not bad. Now I'm going to continue onwards. So again, click and hold to follow that curve. And it's okay if it's like a little bit off, that's not a huge issue. Click and hold on the next one. And you always want that handlebar to kind of travel in the direction that you're going. You don't want to go like up and down, right? We're just kind of going in the same direction. Nice gentle curve. Click and hold with your mouse. And then the last one is kind of a give me, but you can see the preview there and then hit enter on the keyboard. That's pretty good. Now I see a, a anchor point that's a little bit off right here. So I'm going to show you how to use the direct selection tool, which is right here. And by simply clicking on that point, I can adjust, you have to double click. I can adjust the handle. I just got to adjust that handle a little bit to have it go that direction. There we go. That's a little better. I like that. That looks good. And then I'm all set. 
Now we're going to move on to one that's a little more difficult. This is some straight lines combined with some curves. So let's go to our pen tool. We're going to click. Anytime we're doing straight lines, we just click, right? So click, click. Oops, and I lost my stroke. Here we go, for whatever reason. There we go. Okay. Anytime you need to like go back, you can always just click on the last anchor point too. So we're just clicking. Now again, if I just click here, it's just going to be a straight line. And I'm going to turn my fill off here. There we go. So if I do that, that's not what I want. I'm going to do control Z to go back. We're going to click and hold on that point right about there. And then it's going to give us the curve that we need. Go ahead and just click once. On the next one, we need to click and hold. You can even see the preview of that handle because I screenshotted it. <laughs> and then click once. Hit enter on the keyboard, and there is your completed path. And this one is the most difficult of all because you switch between curves and straight lines and then curve straight line. So you're really going to test your skills here. We're going to click once and then click and hold because we're on a curve. And then it kind of gives you that second one. Once again, click once. And we're going to click and hold. So it's very re repetitive, this one. Click once, and then click and hold with your mouse. I think the hardest part for students to um, really get a hold of is doing curves and making sure the curves are going the right direction and the right size, not doing too many points with the curves. Click and hold. And then there we are. Hit enter on the keyboard. And then from here, you can simply do file, save as. You can save it as an AI file so we can see your work. Um, we should be able to see all of the paths that you created then, and then that way we can ensure that you did everything correctly. Next, we're going to look at doing the pen tool practice, creating lines without the anchor points. So this one, you don't get any of the points. So this one's definitely a little more challenging, um, a little more intermediate, and we're gonna grab the pen tool here. And because I've done this a million times, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just click like we've done before. I'll make sure my properties are a little bigger here so you can see. Okay, so I'm literally just clicking because I know they're straight lines. So I'm clicking along and then hit enter on the keyboard. Same thing with the next one. I'm just gonna guess that edge there. And again, it's okay if it's a little bit off. I'm not gonna be too worried about it if it's, you know, the points might be a little bit off here and there, but as long as it's the general shape and direction of the line. Hit enter on the keyboard. Once again with this one, since you have a lot of vertical and horizontal lines, we're going to hold down shift um, to create those nice horizontals and verticals. It makes it a little easier so you know that they're straight up and down. So I'm holding shift and clicking in each of those corners to create my path. It kind of reminds me of a city skyline. and hit enter on the keyboard. All right, here comes a tricky one. So we're gonna start by just clicking once on that first, to make that first point. Anytime you have a curve, you know you're gonna have at least one point at the height of that curve. So I just gonna look for the highest point of the curve, which is right about there, and I'll click and I'll drag to create my curve. There we go. Now the next one kind of gives it to me, but I'm actually gonna hold right about here just to give me an extra point. There we are. This one, I'm looking for the lowest part of the curve now because it's going down. So click and drag. And then back up here, let's click and drag. Click and drag. And then that one, it kind of gives it to me. Once again, and it's the same place. It's so funny how that happens. Um, you can adjust using the direct selection tool. So simply by clicking on the anchor, I just have to adjust that handle a little bit. There we go. Have it going the right direction there. So anytime you want to adjust, you can actually, just by double clicking on the anchor points, you can move the entire thing around. I'm gonna turn that fill off, there we go. All right, we're almost there. So pen tool again, click, 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 because it's a straight line. Once we get to that curve, the top point of that curve, we're gonna click and drag. And then we'll, it gives you that next one, so we don't have to do much. This one, we're going to click and drag again, top point of the curve, and then it gives us the last part. We'll hit enter on the keyboard. All right, last one here. Click, click and drag, and then click. 
click, click and drag, and click, click. <laughs> it's very repetitive. Click and drag, click, click, click and drag, and click. Hit enter on the keyboard. And then from here, once again, you're going to do file, save as, save on your computer. We're saving it as an AI or Adobe Illustrator file. That way we can see your work and your layers. If I drop down the layer here, I can see all these individual paths that have been created. I can turn them on and off, make sure that you did the assignment correctly. And that is all ho about how to create paths without and with anchor point guides using the pen tool. This is a really useful tool. The pen tool is amazing. Um, and once you get really good at it, it's going to become like second nature. You're going to um, build up that muscle memory and it's going to get easier and easier for you to do.